The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has advised the importance of objecting to evil things in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4340. This narration clearly shows that it is a duty on all Muslims to object to all forms of evil according to their strength and means. The lowest level, as mentioned in this narration, is rejecting the evil with one's heart. This shows internally approving evil actions is one of the ugliest of those things which are forbidden. In fact, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4345, that the one who is present when an evil is committed and denounces it, is like the one who was not present. But the one who was absent and approved the evil deed, is like the one who was present and silent when it was committed. The first two aspects of objecting to evil, mentioned in the main narration under discussion, are through one's physical actions and speech. This is only a duty on a Muslim who has the strength to do so, for example, they will not be harmed by their actions or words. It is important to note, objecting to evil with one's hand does not refer to fighting. It refers to correcting the evil actions of others, such as returning the rights of someone which have been unlawfully violated. The one who is in a position to do so yet, refrains from doing so has been warned of a punishment in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4338. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has advised Muslims in a narration found in Jami RT Z, number 2191, that they should not fear the creation in respect to speaking the truth. In fact, the one who allows the fear of the creation to prevent them from objecting to evil things has been described as the one who hates themselves and will be criticized by Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sunan Ibn Majah, number 4008. It is important to note, this does not refer to the one who remains silent out of fear of being harmed, as this is an acceptable excuse. It instead refers to the person who remains silent because of the status people hold in their eyes even though they have nothing to fear if they speak against the evil which is occurring. A narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4341, advises that a person can give up objecting to evil things through their actions and speech when others obey their greed, follow their incorrect opinions and desires, and when they prefer the material world over the hereafter. It does not take a scholar to conclude this time has arrived. Chapter 5 al maida verse 105. O oh, you who have believed, upon you is responsibility for yourselves. Those who have gone astray will not harm you when you have been guided. But it is important to note, a Muslim should continue with this important duty in respect to their dependents, as this is a duty on them according to a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 2928, and in respect to those they feel physically and verbally safe from, as this is the superior attitude. Objecting to evil things which are apparent, is what the main narration under discussion refers to. Meaning, it does not grant permission to Muslims to spy on others in order to find evil things to object to. Spying and anything associated with it in this respect are forbidden. Chapter 49 al hujurat verse 12. O oh, you who have believed to not spy. It is important to note that a Muslim must object to evil according to the teachings of Islam and not their own desires. A Muslim may believe they are acting for the sake of Allah, the Exalted, when they are not. This is proven when they object to evil, in a way which contradicts the teachings of Islam. In fact, what is considered a good deed may well become a sin because of this negative attitude. A Muslim must object to evil in a gentle way, preferably in private according to the teachings of the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This is not possible to achieve without learning and acting on Islamic knowledge. The opposite of these characteristics will only push people away from sincerely repenting and may lead to further sins as a result of angering others. Finally, one must object to evil at the right time, as constructively criticizing someone at the wrong time, such as when they are angry, is unlikely to be effective in positively influencing them. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.